Welcome back. I have 10 new vocabulary words for you again today. The first word is consist. Consist. And like usual, I'm going to spell the word for you to practice some dictation. And you can practice spelling at home on your own paper as I spell it to you. All right. So the first part, dictation and pronunciation. Consist. C. O. N. S. I. S. T. C. O. N. S. I. S. T. Okay. Consist. 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 All right. <clears throat> and consist means to be made of something. For example, <clears throat> sorry, for example, an omelet consists of eggs, maybe onions and other ingredients. But consist is telling me what is inside of this object. For an omelet, an omelet consists of eggs and other ingredients. <clears throat> Number two, <clears throat> define, define, D, E, F, I, N, E, D, E, F, I, N, E, define, define. All right. In these videos, I define what the words mean, or I share the definition of these words. You are learning to define what these words mean. Okay? To define, to give a definition to something. <clears throat> Number three, exclude, exclude. E, X, C, L, U, D, E. E, X, C, L, U, D, E. Exclude. <clears throat> Exclude. Exclude is the opposite of include. Exclude means to leave something out, to not include something. The opposite of include, to exclude. Formula, next word, formula. F-O-R-M-U-L-A. Formula. F-O-R-M-U-L-A. Formula. Formula. Okay. Mm. And a formula could be a synonym of method. Possible synonym, synonym of method. Uh, <laughs> uh, a formula could be a possible synonym of method. The way that you do something. A process. In math, we have formulas such as, um, let's say, x minus y equals blank, something like that. And you put the pieces in that formula to find your answer. x minus x equals zero, for example, a formula. If I replace x with one, 1 minus 1 equals 0, a formula. But you could also use formula for other things, for certain process. There are baby formulas. For your babies, there's a certain mix, a specific mixture of things uh, to create that formula. All right, number, number five, govern, govern, G-O-V-E-R-N. 
G-O-V-E-R-N. Govern. Govern. To govern is basically to, to manage something. It could be, you know, another word related to the idea of to manage as a, or someone who serves as a manager because you are you are taking care of and helping control something for example maybe uh, if you have a lot of money and you have a lot of children like in the movie the sound of music they they invite someone to come work at their house as a governess and they pay her to help control the house to help guide the children make decisions in the house clean cook you know they they are taking care of the house they're governing but we also have governors of each state in the United States we have governors who help control and make decisions for each state. Okay, number six. Imitate. Imitate. I M I T A T E. I M I T A T E. Imitate. Imitate. To imitate is to do a parody of something or to copy the way someone does something. For example, let's say um, right now, you know, in the United States, when we have a president, it is very common for people to imitate the president to be funny or um, to to gain respect or something like that you know when it, with our presidents it's very very common to see people imitate the president on TV whether in comedy shows or in commercials or other people just trying to get respect somehow okay um, number seven license license L I C E L I let's see let's start over <laughs> L I C E N S E L I C E N S E license license okay License, you probably have seen this word, such as a driver's license. There are other kinds of licenses in the United States. For example, in restaurants, you can have a liquor license, which is a permission to sell li liquor. Or um, you could have a teaching license, okay, a permission to teach. Um, and again, a driver's license, permission to drive. So a license is something that gives you permission to do something. All right. It's a permit to do something. And the next word, nest. Number eight, nest. N-E-S-T. N-E-S-T. Nest. Nest. A nest basically is like where birds live or certain animals they create a little a little home for themselves you know maybe a little out of out of sticks and other things they put together and they make a little home for themselves a nest we use this word sometimes for people and in a, somewhat of a funny way this is my nest but it's just a way to say this is where i live but not as common for people more again more of a silly, silly way to say that but for animals especially birds um, we we talk about their home as a nest that 
collection of sticks you see where they put their eggs and all of that and the birds sit on top of the eggs in that that's that shape you see a lot on top of light poles and places like that or in the trees it's a, a nest we call that the nest <clears throat> all right um el nido el nido all right um for yeah for the spanish speakers number nine poverty poverty p o v e r t y p o v e r t y poverty poverty and poverty basically means um, the state of of not having enough money for the necessities okay poverty or or being much lower economically than what might be the norm for you know daily daily necessities or activities and the last word tend t e n d t e n d tend all right tend is um kind of like to habitually do something habitually with a habit to have a habit of doing something for example i tend to wake up at 7 30 in the morning that's my normal habit I tend to eat eggs for breakfast. That's a normal habit for me. It's not every day, but it's, it's what I usually do. It's normal. Okay? All right. Well, those are the 10 words for this week. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, <laughs> have, a, have a great summer.